no idea why I keep putting off, you know, packing until the last minute. I have not learned my lesson. Oh my god, look at the stain in my eye. Oh my goodness. Last night when I was editing a video, I started getting tired, so I started rubbing my eyes. At 3 a.m., I woke up. I felt like something was in my eye. I went straight to the washroom. I was trying to dig it out. I accidentally apparently scratched my eyeballs. This morning I woke up in a panic because I couldn't see out of my right eye. Had to call an ambulance, had to go to the hospital, and they put dye in my eye. <laughs> oh God, I'm going to Disneyland with one yellow eye. Nice and minty. Welcome back to my channel. This is Shinoria's Trial and Errors, and of course, I am Shinoria. I stop saying that. I sound like Nick Lachey. Anyway, <laughs> what are we gonna be doing today? Dun, 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 dun. Packing for my trip. I'm gonna try and pack as quickly as I possibly can because I have a nail appointment. I'm super excited. My first nail appointment in like a year. The salons have reopened, so sis, good sis is gonna go get her mammy and petty walk out feeling like a brand new woman. Yeah. Excuse me. Most of the information that I got on how to pack has been from the DFB guide, so you can find it anywhere on YouTube. It's just a woman who seems to be obsessed with Disney World. She works for a food blog and she gives information on basically the best rides, the best restaurants, just everything you basically you need to know. So she can categorize everything into three seasons, summer, hurricane, and winter. Seems like it's hurricane season now, so I will pack accordingly. First off, we have ponchos. So ponchos was recommended for hurricane season as it does rain in Orlando a lot. Instead of being, you know, swindled at Disneyland for how much they are probably going to sell a poncho for, I went to the dollar store here and I picked up a couple ponchos. These were $3 at Dollarama. Yeah. So these I have from my last trip, from my last Punta Cana trip. I was advised to bring Ziploc bags, so if, just in case you're going on like, you know, Splash Mountain or to the water park or to the pool or whatever, that you have something to protect your phone. I'm gonna put my camera in a Ziploc bag, but I'm just gonna bring this for my phone. It works great. There's a string that goes inside of it, and I could just keep it around my neck. I loved it. I used it all over Punta Cana, and it was very good. Like, my phone stayed very well sealed in that, so I'm gonna throw that right in the suitcase and my suitcase is on the floor that's how I pack I don't like putting my suitcase on the bed because like if you think about where your suitcase has been it's been at the airport like in luggage like ugh, no my suitcase needs to be on the floor this right here is my vacation drawer I know I sound like a lunatic I actually have a vacation drawer so basically it's where I just keep everything that I usually take on vacation with me swimsuits shorts mesh top Whatever. Whatever it is that I normally take on vacation, like to the tropics or to more hot, I keep in this drawer. It makes it so much easier for me to organize and so much easier for me to find. What I will be taking is, remember that hot little red number from my Zara haul video? I will most definitely be taking a carry-on because I'm really nervous about somebody losing my luggage and I just, I love keeping everything with me. I love knowing where everything is at all times. I definitely will be packing for two, for two in one trips. So after Disney World, I am going to New York. I'm only going to be in Disneyland for four days, then I'm going to be in New York for five days. Hey, listen, when you are on the plane and you have to fill out a million and one forms, you need a pen. You don't want to be looking around, especially when it comes to COVID. You don't want to be looking around, oh, can I borrow this pen? Can I borrow your pen? Can I borrow your pen? Now, I don't think I'm going to be going to the pool that much, so I'm only going to bring maybe one or two bikinis. Okay, you know what? I can't pack like this. I need to go and do laundry and then come back. While packing, I realized that I don't actually have enough clean clothes to take with me, so I'm just going to go downstairs and quickly throw in a couple loads of laundry before my nail appointment. I love having the laundry room completely to myself, like nobody's here, nobody's doing laundry. The laundry is washed, dried, and folded. And now everything's just on my bed and I gotta figure out what I'm bringing because now I have 
too much options as opposed to before when I didn't have any options at all. See? Oh. I got pajamas, shorts, top, body suits. Oh, okay. Somehow I gotta figure out how to narrow this down to fit in basically a carry-on. I just have to figure that out later because I am now running late for my nail appointment. It's a couple hours later and if I look tired, it's because I am. I'm home now. It's a little after 12.30, I want to say. My flight's tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., so I have to shower and get ready. I haven't finished packing yet. I'm just going to try and figure out what to bring and what not to bring. I'm going for 11 days, and I'm going to need at least 13 pairs of underwear. Always pack extra underwear. That's just, I don't know. That's just something I do. So we're gonna throw this over into the suitcase. Now for the shorts. It's summertime and I am definitely a shorts girl. I love shorts. I love to pull them up as I go. I can minimize how much I bring by doing laundry. All right, so I have all these jean shorts. Okay, this is too much. So I might leave a couple out. Four. And then these just to be able to wear around. Pajamas. So because it's summer and it's hot and I, I really don't even like sleeping in clothes in the summertime, I packed mainly just shorts pajamas. So anything that had shorts when I was doing laundry, I put aside. So these are all shorts pajamas. So and now for tops. Oh, definitely going to need some plain white t-shirts. Now I'm ready to move on to toiletry. I keep all of my travel toiletries up here, just in this basket. It's Again, it's easier for me to find everything. And I keep this nice little travel bag so that I know exactly how much I can take inside. That way everything is already in the bag. It's less likely for them to pull me out of the line and search my suitcase because everything will already be in the bag that it's supposed to be. I saved this from, I don't know, a couple trips ago when someone gave it to me at the airport saying that I have to have it. I also keep my foundation in there because it is a liquid and I have been pulled over for this before in the airport. Not pulled over, but my suitcase has been pulled to the side for this before. So just to, you know, save time now, I make sure that it is in the bag over there. Any lip gloss or Basically anything that's kind of liquid. I try to minimize it and keep it, I keep everything in there. So I go to the dollar store and I get the little containers. I like the ones that come with the labels. That way, obviously I know what everything is. Moisturizer and sunscreen look the same. I just put them in a container. I put them in the bag and just put them in the suitcase. This right here is just my makeup bag. Try to keep it as minimum as possible. It's just the essentials of what I need. Next, I come over to my shower and I just grab a little bit of everything that I need. Just, you know, body wash, face soap, anything like that. I go over to the back of my door. Basically, kind of just take anything that I use on a daily basis. I try to keep it as minimal as possible. If I don't use it on a daily, then I don't need to bring it. I just grab a comb and a brush. I will also grab either a straightener or a wand curler. I personally like taking my straightener because that way I can both curl and straighten my hair. In the summer, deodorant is a must have. Okay, you guys, I'm sorry. I did not film myself stuffing everything in the suitcase. Basically, I kind of just laid it as flat as possible, sat on it, zipped it up, and I was ready to go. After this, I took a shower and hopped right into bed to catch some Z. Okay, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you will be notified on everything Disney World that I'm about to do. If you have any questions about how I pack my suitcase or anything, just, you know, feel free to drop that down below.